What's up everybody, it's your boy back at it again with another video. Now I'm gonna be doing a top 10 dr best Dragon Ball games of all time and I have 10 lined up, starting with Dragon Power. A lot of people haven't played this or heard of this, but from the research I've done, it was produced in 1986, around the same time the show made its introduction and I mean, needless to say, it seems like a pretty solid game. I want to say this came out for the uh, NES way back when. Number 9 comes from a computer game I played a long time ago, which I also think was for some console. I honestly don't know what console, but it is Dragon Ball Taiketsu. Um, as you can see here, it was basically another 16-bit game. Um, popular for a little bit. I saw it advertised a couple times in 2002, 2001 and it was an all right game not really the best of its time at all but it it was passable we were looking for a dragon ball z game and they definitely delivered that so um, i definitely put that as a number nine for sure and it will be number nine for a while it wasn't a bad game at all but you know it gets better over time number eight does not come as a surprise and definitely brings back a lot of nostalgia as we take a nice look into the legacy of goku that was available for game boy advance as well as game boy um, now this was definitely an iconic game i loved playing it it went through the from the raditz saga to the end of the frieza saga and we got to see a lot happen we got to see gohan develop into more of a fighter we obviously got to see goku transform into a super saiyan over time this game was the pinnacle and placeholder of all future video games that were pretty much made after it um in its image meaning legacy of goku 2 and boo's fury and eventually supersonic warriors and whatnot just when we thought we couldn't get enough of that Dragon Ball crack, they go and drop Legacy of Goku 2 on us, which leads us into number 7. Legacy of Goku 2 holds a special place in my heart in particular because of not only the evolution of the game, but the fact that it covered all of the events right after the Frieza saga. The Legacy of Goku 2 goes immensely into the androids making an appearance, Cell in his infancy, future trunks making an appearance all the way up into the point where cell gets finished by T super saiyan 2 gohan and you know that's pretty much the conclusion of that now as far as the game itself the gameplay was phenomenal for it being an eight an eight bit game it was amazing you had a wider list of abilities including the ability to transform into a super saiyan which is not something you could have done in legacy of goku the first version and there were a lot of key blasts, different key blasts you can use outside of the generic um, ones they gave you in Legacy of Goku 2. And there's obviously a lot of locations you can go and explore, especially secret locations. In fact, in th it was in this game that if you completed certain missions, you could actually land on the moon and fight cooler. It was an amazing game, one not to be forgotten. Now any true Dragon Ball fan remembers this game. Dragon Ball Budokai, the first of its kind. The first 3D Dragon Ball game ever to grace the screens of PS2 and possibly PS1. But I remember playing it on PS2. It was a great game. I felt like I was super absorbed into the game like anybody else. You had a wide range of abilities. You could power up face off with anybody it was a side scrolling game um but it had had some you know pretty awesome 3d elements but this was the first of its kind and it would later evolve into better games and this holds position number six in the history of Dragon Ball Z games okay i'm fanboying hard as fuck right now because this is my personal favorite dragon ball game well not entirely favorite but one of my favorite games of all time but this i'll have to hold this at a nice placeholder at number five simply because this is what the community wants but this is dragon ball raging blast 2 i honestly remember this for its amazing cutscenes and its transformations um its sequences as far as its abilities go and it has the same setup as tenkaichi 
now. Um, for those that don't know what Tenkaichi is, we will explain it a little later because we do have that as a higher rated position. The character roster for this game was, you know, more impressive than the starting character roster for, for uh, Xenoverse for sure. But I can say that this game did not disappoint. The soundtrack was phenomenal. It came with a movie, meaning Plan to Eradicate the Saiyans. If you guys have not seen that, um, you need to check it out. It's pretty good. Uh, and it, it just all in all had all the elements of a great game. Only thing it was missing, I thought, in my opinion, um, was definitely the volume in the transformation sequences. When they power up, you can't really hear them yelling like you can in other games. So that was definitely kind of a, a thumbs down for me. But everything else was solid. The environment is 100% destructible. And uh, it was an amazing game to play. And it was definitely called number five in this lineup of amazing games. This next selection might be more agreeable and a lot more familiar for a lot of our Dragon Ball Z fans out here. With Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 as our number four. So um, what I do remember of this game, it is also a side-scrolling game as well. Um, a lot more abilities. This is also a game where it had all of the GT characters as well. Character roster was on fleek. I have to say that A1 solid stake sauce. You could transform all the way up into Super Saiyan 4 in battle. And there were a lot of amazing elements of this game. You can get this game in the HD version of you know the original, which makes this game all the better. The graphics are smooth, it runs very smooth, it's a nice fun arcade fighting game and brings back a lot of memories. Uh, every character has its nice selection of outfits and all that stuff. Just like any of the other Dragon Ball Z games, it was definitely one to be remembered and definitely a game that friends can come over and get their little butts whooped in. Now, I'm pretty sure we can all agree that this can hold a solid placeholder for number four. Now, a lot of people might disagree, but wait till you see the other selections and give me what you think in the comments down below as far what you, as far as what you guys should think. Take the number one placeholder for the best Dragon Ball game of all time. Oh boy, number three brings us to a game I cannot shut up about. Tenkaichi 3, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Now what I loved about this game, aside from the fact that you could play with over 99 plus characters, it had a very extensive character roster, that was what I remember most about this game, was the fact, right here before your very eyes, yes, that the Great Ape is playable in the game. You can actually transform into a great ape in the middle of a battle. And, and you can also fuse in the middle of a fight as well. On top of all of that, if that were not enough, the environments are 100% destructible, as well as the ability to blow up the planet. You could literally blow up the planet in this game. Now, you can probably tell by the influx of my voice that I am very excited about this game because it brings back a limitless amount of memories. I remember trying to fight Broly in this very game and hiding behind buildings and every building I hid behind being flattened so you can imagine the sense of fear and excitement I'm feeling all at the same time. This game will definitely go down in the history as one of maybe the best game as far as character roster options go of all time until I see otherwise. This is definitely the best game as far as character roster abilities and maps go in the history of Dragon Ball to this date. But it'll hold number three because there is a particular reason why I have a particular game in the spot that I have it. Number two. Now this does not come as a surprise. This doesn't come as a surprise because it's Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Now while I personally do not like the game just because of its appearance and the fact that it looks like Capcom versus Marvel uh, it's a pretty good game. I mean, you can use it for like, you know, video game tournaments and stuff like that. It's pretty popular in the fan base. And um, you have a decent selection of characters. I think the roster isn't the best, but hey, that's neither here or there. The game is actually great. Um, the graphics are really good, despite it being, you know, really cartoony and, you know, kind of backtracking in my opinion a little bit. But it looks good. It's drawn very well plays really well and it deserves this spot because let's face it currently this is definitely one of the most popular games in the Dragon Ball community.
Now this last one does not come as a surprise literally at all. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 has got to be the greatest Dragon Ball game of all time. This is non-biased by the way. Considering all things, the customization of your own personal characters and the abilities that you get along with that, the story progression, the arcs from every single DLC that gets updated, this is easily, easily the best Dragon Ball game of all time. The free roam is amazing. You can go literally anywhere in the game. You can fly anywhere. It doesn't restrict you to any part of the game. It's amazing. Um, as far as you know, meeting up with people and stuff like that going to, goes too. There's so many elements to this game. It is literally insane. So I'm pretty sure we can end this video off on a nice note and say that Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 is definitely number one. Now there are a few honorable mentions before I leave. Dragon Ball Dokken Battle is one of them. Dragon Ball Legends is definitely another. There are so many other um, honorable mentions I could throw out there. It's not even funny. But I'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it was awesome, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will make more of these in the future. Um, and until next time, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.